Hi y'all, so what this video is, is basically me showing you how to set up mirroring uh, your path, your drawing path. So I'm going to create a document that's going to be 13 by 19, 300 PPI RGB color. And then I'm going to move my Photoshop uh, that I dropped off over in my libraries onto this area. And you can see like there's one of my Photoshop. And you can always import if not, but again, I use my libraries a lot because it's easier for me. And if you see that the lines, the blue lines going through or whatever color lines doing the X, that just simply means you need to embed. And I spend a little time here on this video, like trying to figure out where the embed button is because, um, I don't know, I'm having a brain fart. So what I need to do and what I actually end up doing is just resetting my panels so I can figure out where everything is um, and that's what I do right here so once I reset essentials then I can just simply embed this and what embedding does is that it puts the image actually in your layers and it's not linking if you see the X on an image it links to it so now I'm going to make sure that I have my smart guides on. And with my pen tool, I'm going to find the center, the horizontal center, and vertical center. And then I'm going to do the vertical center first, and then just draw a straight line. I'm going to hold down the shift key to make sure that the line, and then I'm going to hit escape to get out of that path. And then I'm going to make sure that that path is colored in and give it a name guide. And then I'm going to lock it, I believe. Yep. So select it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm opening up my line panel and make sh making sure that it is aligned perfectly centered. And then I lock it. Then I create a new layer, and this is going to be my horizontal. And I'm going to use my alignment tool as soon as I get out of it by hitting Escape. Make sure I'm lined to Artboard. Um, you have to have both sides selected to make it horizontal. And then I'm going to come in and go to the effects, distort, transform, and set this to do reflect X, copies one, and then I'm going to hit OK. And then I think next what's going to happen is I'm going to hide that horizontal line. So that was actually applied to that horizontal guide right there. And so I'm just going to click the eyeball off. And what that allows me to do now with the pen tool, oh well, yeah, and save and save often. And then I'm going to move, yeah, I'm gonna move my drawing to where it lines up. And because I brought it in, from Photoshop as a Photoshop document basically which is what libraries does I can it kept my layers for me so I can individually move each layer now to line up with that center so that I have something a little bit truer to um, go in and trace So it's always good to leave things in layer and leave it separated so that you do have a lot more um, options as far as moving things around. So the first thing I'm going to trace is the jug and I'm just going to lock it down to make sure I don't accidentally move it. And I am just going to work in the same layer that that path, um, that horizontal path that I created. So now with the pen tool, just going to set it to black and to, you know, a pretty thin stroke. Like I said, sometimes it takes me a couple of tries to figure out, like, 
what I want selected and what size I want selected. And that's me testing. So you can see as I draw over on the right, it draws over on the left. So now I'm just going to take my pen tool, start at the center, and draw. And you'll see it'll start to draw over on the left. It's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to like get used to it. So then I'm going to use my direct selection tool to move my anchor points around, to move my anchor point handles around so that the reflection lines up exactly how I want it. And actually I went back to my sketch and I lowered the opacity so I could actually so I could see my lines better. So do that and then lock it again so you don't move it by accident. All right, then I go back in. Pen tool after I straighten this up a little bit. And the end step, after we do all this, we'll come back and join. We'll expand and join all of this together. So pen tool again, remember the star means I'm starting a new path. If I hover over something and it says plus or minus, it's going to join in or it's to that previous path. You have to hold down shift if you're hovering over an already established path, otherwise it'll add to that path or take an anchor point away from that path. But that's basically it. So this starts you off mirroring and the next video we will show you what to do after you have all of your stuff drawn.